so welcome everybody welcome to the new a new human experience podcast today is december the 17th 2020 and the topic for this episode is being god so all of december so far um the the theme is co-creation and i think it was um probably from yes from the first session I mentioned, I, I quoted a um, a paragraph from the Bible, which is Genesis, um, Genesis chapter one, verses three. And I'm going to read that again. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So that's what was um, said in the Bible. So there it is in the Bible. And it has been written like over 2000 years ago, how to create and that's how how to create is really to have a vision of what you want, and then declare it to the universe. And it's it's actually the mechanics of creation. It's very simple. It's, we already know about it. It's been written down for for over 2000 years, probably much longer than that. Yet why is it that it's not so simple in practice? So that's that's since we are talking about co creation this month. So I've been actually exploring what is what is um, how did we complicate this? It's really very simple. We have a vision and we declare it and that's it. So let's kind of dissect this, this verse in, the, in the, the Bible again. So God said, let there be light and there was light. So God said, I think, I think what really th throw a lot of people out is that God said, and because we externalized who God is. Um, no, no one ever told us that, like, what God is. We we have a very, um, very dysfunctional or very confused way of understanding who this God is and and what really is. And so that's why, even though the um, the mechanics of creation is has been written down for for us for such a long time, we, we didn't even know that it, it, that that's what this is about. It's really about creation, it's teaching us creation. And all of us, you know, my, myself especially, is, is when I read this, I'm like, is, well, yes, God said, let there be light. Of course, God is God. No, so God, God is, you know, omnipresent, omnipotent. Um, God is this 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 super being that uh, no one, which is none of us. Of course, when God said something, then it will be done. But we have no association who this God is. No association at all. Um, we were never told about God. So. The more I explore consciousness, how to grow consciousness, the more I explore about what like reality is and all that, I finally came to this realization, which, um, which Franco has mentioned, a lot of people um, besides um, Franco, um, a lot of the other, I would say, I wouldn't say guru, but really people who 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 have looked into consciousness and really has has gotten some insights into this already know this is that and and if you have missed it or misunderstood it somehow, then I would like to say this to you, to your face, to your ears, all of that just in case you've missed it, just in case you have misinterpreted other messengers. 
I want you to know that you are God. That when you read in the Bible, it said, God said, let there be light. And there was light. That that God is the same as you. Same as you, same as me, same as everyone else out there. And um, no exception. No exception whatsoever. We each and every one of us are God. We are all God. How can there be so many God then? Jeez, what are you talking about, Winnie? There is also this thing is that we are actually all one. I know we don't have the same body. We don't have the same temperament. We don't, we are not the same age. We are not the same nationality. There are so many differences or seeming differences with us, between us. However, we are all just one. We are all actually just one spirit. There is only this one God particle. And this one God particle is omnipresent, omnipotent. All there is and all there will ever be is this God particle. And this God particle decided that it wants to um, play a character called Winnie. And then this God particle flickered and say, oh, okay, I want to have somebody else to play with Winnie. So then they would um, become someone else, let's say Lucy, or let's say Anne, or let's say Peter, Paul, so all of these different aspects, but all of these different aspects is actually just created by this one God particle, which is actually each and every one of us. Each and every one of us is all just different embodiment, different um, creation of this one God particle. So when we look at that, um, when we look at that again is, so God said, let there be light. And we are this God. And so the second part of this equation is, so we are this God and then a said, so said. Said is really meaning that there is a certain frequency vibration because the Bible did not say that God think, let there be light and there was light. No, it's said. It's said because it's a vibration. It's a frequency. It's not just a thought, even though thought has a frequency as well. But it particularly said that God said, meaning that this frequency is, is actually pushed outward. By seeing it, saying this, saying what it is in your vision out to the universe. And what is the universe? Also other aspects of God. So this is really telling us that God is really playing with itself. And that's really what we are doing as well. We are as different aspects of this one God particle. And if you look at it, this one God particle is, um, if you really think of it, yes, Trump is this, Biden, also this, the Dalai Lama, also this, you, me, everyone else, also this. So this is for me um, something that really took me a long time to let sink in. So I would like to actually suggest that you let this sink in as well. And I know that you may have some conversations in your head right now that disagrees with this idea that we are all one. And I don't blame you because the evidence is, seems to disagree with me because we are so conditioned to thinking that we are our body. And when we see that our body is separate, we think that we are separate beings but we're not. And the more you 
can really start to um, observe and notice, you would understand this. It, it may take you a while. However, I just want to put this idea into your consciousness really firmly and, and suggest that you start to observe and see if you can start to notice it. Because if you, um, to the degree that you don't even want to consider this and think that this is, so what's, what's, what does this do for me? Now that I, what if I agree that I'm this God? So what, would, what does it do to me, do for me? Um, you know, am I gonna get a bigger car? Am I gonna get all of that? Um, I would suggest that if you truly understand who you are, then, and really let go of the, um, the conditioning that society has, has put into you, because we have been very conditioned to not recognize who we are, very conditioned to be um, this human being, this, this person called Winnie. So, because I, I have been conditioned all, most of my life and that I am this, I am this, you know, um, person has the name of Winnie. I'm a certain age. I, um, my, my, even though I live in Canada, but you know, my ancestry is Chinese and I'm supposed to think a certain way, um, do certain things in order to conform to any of those groups that I, or any of those identities that I put on myself. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with playing who you are. There's nothing wrong with identifying with who you are because that's exactly what we are here to do is to really play, play a role. There's nothing wrong with being Winnie, nothing wrong with being Lucy, nothing wrong with being... And Jackie, Roxana, Dragon, nothing wrong with that at all. I'm just saying that if you really want to play at that level, then play on. However, at the, at the back of your mind, I also want to put in this suggestion that you are more than who you think you are. And that even though some of you, and maybe even all of you, are struggling with things in your life, that those things, um, if you put into perspective, they are nothing. They really are nothing. And that when you, when you start to remember, when you start to remember who you truly are, and you really Remember that everything you see, everything that you have created for yourself is really part of your creation, your hologram. As uh, Marina mentioned that we are in the hologram and who, is, who is, um, is the creator of this hologram? We are. In my hologram, I am the creator. In someone's hologram, someone else's, another aspect of this, this um this one God particle in their life, they are the one that creates their hologram. But in my life, I am the one that created this hologram. And when you start to really um, remember this all the time, that you are the one that created this hologram, you are the one that created everything in this and everything you see in this, every person who interacted with you, whether positively or negatively in this is actually, there's no one out there but you. You are only actually interacting with some aspects of yourself when you are in your own hologram because there's no one else 
in your hologram. No one else can, can be in your hologram. Yes, there may be other people in your hologram, just like um, in my hologram. All of you is really a part of me. And I take this, um, I would say, very seriously. I take, well, seriously, not, not that. I take it seriously. But I really, um, I really take that to heart. So if, if any of you is struggling with a certain problem and you are, you know, you are um, sharing that with us, then I know that some with some part of me, some part of me is actually have something in common with that issue as well. So that's what I mean by taking it seriously in that when one or two of you, especially if there's more than one of you is, is going through similar issues, then I know that whatever the issue that you are um, dealing with they are my issue as well. I, it's then you, in my hologram, none of you are separate from me. And if you are showing up and having these issues, then that means I have some of this issue in myself that I haven't been able to resolve because if I can resolve it, then, um, e like I would be able to, then those things would not be able to um, show up in my face in the way. So that's what I mean by taking it seriously. There is no one else but you in your own hologram. If someone shows up with a problem, then don't think don't think for a second that it's their problem. I don't have to worry about it. I'll have this problem. No, precisely if that person shows up in your reality, has that problem, then, then it's something that you need to, at the very least, um, be mindful to see if that's something that you can, that's something that you have somehow overlooked so everyone around you that's interacting with you, that's showing up in your hologram and bringing your attention to something, then that is really your, your unconscious mind giving you a message. And you need to take that seriously. Seriously, meaning that you need to do some soul searching and see, hey, do I have something like that? If somebody, um, for example, um, some of you showed up with um, issues with your, your um, kids, whether daughter or son. So I need to look at my own life and see and really see how my relationship with my children are and so so i need to really keep clear to see if there's anything because if enough of you showed up with similar issues then it's like there's a vibration there that i'm vibing that's attracting these people in my life so i need to look at it and really be very um vigilant to start to get come to come to um neutral if i have that issue then come to neutral about it and create again. And if, if possible to create again as to how do I really want to create my relationship with my children in a way that will not show up in my face again. So that's really what I mean by you, everybody else in my hologram or everyone else that's in your hologram is actually a part of you to really take this seriously. If, in, if there's a few people showing up in your life that has similar issue, then you need to take a look at it and take responsibility 
to clean up your own energy so that you get to the part where you are, you become God. You become God in your own hologram because you are, you're the one that's creating that. And when you are, when you take responsibility of cleaning up and clearing your own vibration, then you get to be, you get to be the God so that when you truly want to create something in your life, then you will be able to create it without um, any, without too much strive, without working too much, because I've, I've seen this in my life as well, is that let's say if I want to um, manifest a certain um, opportunity or a certain, um, a certain money or a certain, um, you know, meeting certain people in order to, or having some help to assist me in, in whichever area in my life. All I have to do is really clean up my own energy. And I just want to um, mention a, an example is that there is this one um, like entrepreneurial association that I've been looking at for a while now. And really, I really like that um, association. And I do feel that I can probably um, benefit from joining that association. However, that there are some, there's for the past, I would say probably for the past nine months now, I've been looking at it and thinking about it, but one way or another, I haven't gotten clear. Meaning that somehow, some way there is um, a, a thought in my mind that prevented me from joining the association, but I got clear recently. And all of a sudden, like everything lined up. So now I'm in the association. It, it was just something that had been preventing me for the past nine months and all of a sudden just cleared up. And that's because I cleaned up my own energy to, to really get clear on my own um, business goals, my own, what it is, what my role is here. And I'm really ready to step up. So that's why all, all of a sudden everything cleared up. So I know that somehow I have, I know that when I clean up my own energy, when I step up to be the creator of my own, own hologram, then everything else, no, no matter how um, murky it seemed to be in the past nine months, when I cleaned up my own act, everything just lined up, it just happened. So, and this is not the only instance. There's so many other instances that this has been proven right, that I, like I have done enough experimenting to really know that if I want something and I cannot create it, I have not been able to create it in my life, manifest it in my life, it's not because of anyone else outside of me. It's not because of anything outside of me. Although there could be um, reasons. I can think of reasons why I can't do certain things. But at the end of the day, those are simply reasons. They're excuses that I buy into. And that's why I think I, I was convinced that, oh, I couldn't do it. It's because of these things. So I bought, I bought into those, those reasons, quote unquote reasons. And I let those reasons be my excuses. But, at the, but really when you step up to be God in your own hologram, to be the creator of your own hologram. Then when you really step up, when you really get to the point where you know, this is what I'm going to create. This is what I want. And whatever shows up is, they are simply excuses. And when I lined up myself, my when I lined up my own vibration, 
then whatever it is, the reality outside of me, it simply reflects what's within me. So that truly is what I mean, I want to convey in this being God is that we actually, truly, we are all actually God because there is only one God particle. Just like um, what Marina mentioned and what um, Franco has taught us is that there's just one and, and this one fragmented into different aspects so that we can all explore a certain um, topic. And then we all explore, we all fragment into more and more so that we can explore certain themes in our life. So we are actually all just one, the same God particle. And there is no one else outside of us. And there's no one that is creating in your hologram. And if you think that you cannot do something because someone else out there is somehow has more power, has more clout, has more talent, has more whatever, then that's just an excuse. There is no one else out there but you in your hologram. In your hologram, you are God. And you're the one that's creating everything. And when you know and really keep reminding yourself that this is my hologram, I'm creating this, this block. So, um, so, so then you get to neutral, you get to you being responsible for your own creation. Being responsible does not mean that you reject what you created because it's your own creation. Even though it's something that you don't prefer to experience, it's still your creation. So you are the one that's responsible for cleaning up your own vibration, for letting go of the beliefs that have you convinced that there is someone else out there that can do things to stop you, to um, make you uh, to, to, to do things to you that you don't prefer to experience, then those are just all illusions or fear-based, victim mentality-based, mentality all of those. In your hologram, you're God and there's no one else. And when you step up to being the God of your own hologram, then all you need to do is just let there be light. And there was light. Meaning that you simply have to declare to the universe what it is that you really want to experience. And you will be able to experience that. When you really step up to being the God of your own hologram. Actually, that's all I want to talk about and share in this.